Yeah. Hey everyone, it is Sherlock Watson, and I know this topic has been in the dark for a while, but since I haven't made a video on it, I just want to make it. Want to make one. So this is about gaming disorder. What is gaming disorder? So according to the World Health Organization, gaming disorder is defined in the 11th provision of the International Classification of Diseases as a pattern of game behavior ca characterized by impaired control over gaming, increasing priority given to gaming over other activities to the intent that gaming takes presence over other interests and daily activities and continuation or escalation of gaming despite the occurrence of negative consequences. For gaming disorder to be diagnosed, the behavior pattern must be sufficient severity and the result significant impairment to personal, family, social, educational, occupational, or other important areas of functioning and would normally have been evident for the last 12 months. Alright, so this is stupid. Is there such thing as TV disorder? Is there? Is there such thing as Netflix disorder? Is there such thing as phone disorder? Social media disorder? About Fortnite disorder? Like, yeah, what about this gaming though? You do get the point. It's like, now that we know what gaming disorder is, now we can di try to diagnose people with gaming disorder. So, so if I play Fortnite too much, I'm sick. No, this isn't a disorder itself. It's in the family of addiction. That's what it is. Because if you play it way too much, then that's an addiction, not a disorder. All right? Okay, what if you're a streamer? Do you have gaming disorder? Well, I guess we have gaming disorder. For example, if I was addicted to drawing anime every single day, I drew anime. So much that I was that I was diagnosed with art disorder. This is not a thing. You know why? Because it's not. It's just stupid. It's it's literally. Oh my god! It's stupid. It's stupid. Are you kidding me? This this is so dumb. Okay, okay, okay. dude. What? This is so stupid. It is so dumb. Like, can you your? Do you have a script? No, I don't have a script for this. I never script my videos. So, um, in our old, we used to go to a Catholic school. We would always get these Fortnite pamphlets saying why we can't play it. Come on, come on. You think, oh, oh no. I've got the Fortnite pamphlet. Alright, so, it's ridiculous because like, everyone's freaking out. Especially boomers. They're all like, oh no. But what about TV? Back in your day, boomers. How did that go out? How did that go, huh? How did that go? When TV was made. Yeah, the boomers of your age were freaking out. Because it's something new. It's something that they don't know of. You know what? You know what? They're jealous of this gaming experience that we have. And they're trying to turn a hobby into something bad. Ooh, ooh, what about exercise disorder? That should be a thing. You know why? Because if you exercise too much and you start getting cramps and you start pulling your muscles and stuff. Well, guess what? That doesn't exist. You know why? Because it's all boomers who are running this crap. All of it. Now, this doesn't make any sense. You can make a disorder for anything. If you can make a disorder for gaming, then you can make a disorder for anything. It's ridiculous. It's over the top and stupid. Alright? What do you have to say about it, Watson? Uh, it's just... Not everything that happens has to be a disorder. Like, you can't just make up a disorder and then diagnose someone with it. Like, I can make up the, you know, let's just say, oh my god, the disorder. Like, it's so good. So, uh, god. you cannot, the World Health Organization is ridiculous. So, you know what, you know, you know it's a disorder? We gotta cut that out. It's like, start back when you start having a and what do you have to say about this, Watson? Ah! Alright, so, so what, what do you have to say about this, Watson? Uh, I just think that you can't diagnose someone for anything. You can't just say, oh, you have something and then you have it. Like, that's ridiculous. Just because I have too much Fortnite doesn't make me sick. Like, this, what this 
say, people will not pay attention to real disorders. That like, like for example, how boomers are always saying that, for example, depression and anxiety, that's just feelings. I know. I oh, know. And, then, and then they start saying, oh, but this gaming disorder exists. How stupid and dumb are you? And they'll take away the attention that is needed from the actual, like, they've already taken away the attention that people need from depression and anxiety and other mental illnesses. They're, take, they're now just taking away even more attention, taking, like, more, they're viewing it in a more negative light than it should be viewing it. Like, they're not taking it, they're not going to take it seriously anymore. Yeah, like, like... They're saying, oh, gaming. Gaming is not a new thing. It's not. I don't understand why people are saying that it's new. It's been around since, like, the 70s. How was that new? That was 50 freaking years ago. The 70s was, like, about 50 years ago. And that's a long time. That's half of someone's, like, that could be half of someone's lifetime. Gaming is not new. It's, like, it's been around for so long. And everyone's just been freaking out about it lately. Like, oh, our kids are getting into Fortnite. That's because Fortnite's a good game. That's the reason why people don't like it. Wait, no. Okay, let me, um, trace my words back. They're jealous of Fortnite. Boomers are jealous of Fortnite. They're like, I wish we could make something where people would stop giving Fortnite money and start giving our old ass companies money. I know. And they don't want Fortnite getting money. Are bull- all, most of them are boomers. I'm not saying all boomers are doing this right Yeah, now. not all boomers. Definitely not. But a lot of them are. And it needs to freaking stop. Alright? Because they're being hypocritical, saying, Oh, but calling Cindy on the phone for five hours wasn't such a big deal, was it? No, it wasn't. And I bet you that's exactly what they said to their parents. Exactly. Shut up. It's true though. People just be like a big deal out of friggin' Fortnite. It's not even a big deal. Alright, so. This is just ridiculous. Boomers are. Most boomers are just bored. They don't know. They want to make some new. They, they want to make headlines, you know? Yeah, they, they, want they want to make the front of the paper, which no one ever reads. They, they want drama, they want... They just think... When old people, they have... And all old people... All generations of old people have the monstrosity... Monstrosity. Mentality? Mentality. Of... Our generation was better, somehow superior, and... Then when this generation get old, some of us would be like, oh, video games were so much better. Like, the boomers want to go along about Facebook and how they're, this pussy generation doesn't play outside anymore, and they're just too scared. And that's exactly what's going to happen when we get old. Our generation. Thing is, we've moved on. We've moved on from that stuff, alright? Just because we're not doing it doesn't mean that it's doesn't mean that the stuff that we're doing instead is bad. Like, and what I don't get is why do they care if we're playing video games? Why do you care about my health? I mean, plus this isn't even affecting my health. It will affect some kids' health. But it's the only thing. It's not gaming disorder that's the problem. It's parenting. That is the issue. If your child plays 12 hours of Fortnite every day, that's the problem. The boomers shouldn't be blaming their grandchildren. They should be blaming their children. And, yeah, that's the thing. Like, it's not Fortnite that's the problem. It's the parenting. It could be any game. It doesn't have to be Fortnite. It doesn't have to be Mario. It doesn't have to be anything. It's the parenting that's the issue. And if you're an adult, it's your own fault for playing too much of the game. It's not the game's fault. It's not the developer's fault. It's your own fault. It's your fault. The developers just trying to make money. And you know what they're doing? Slander. That's what they're doing. They're all like, oh, don't play Fortnite anymore because it damages your kids' brain. And then guess what? People decline in playing that game and Fortnite doesn't make any money. And all, and all the developers at Epic doesn't, don't make any money either. That's what they're doing. They're just... Imagine if someone did that to their company. You know, their company, for example, I don't know... 
a school supplies store. Like, for example, a boomer was running that. And then let's say someone gets on the internet and makes headlines saying school supplies are bad for some reason. See, it's a stupid idea. And then everyone just, like, obsesses over it and makes a big deal. That boomer will obviously be really mad. Yeah, Anyways. Ruining businesses. Yeah, yeah, this is the entertainment industry. industry. And, and for years, people have been saying, oh, you know, like, you know, like oh, well, well TV's bad. bad. Magazines are bad. bad. Some people even said books are bad. But at the end of the day, it's entertainment. And it's, it's only bad if you make bad. It is not bad in and of itself. If you make a bad habit and you do it too much, or something else comes It's out, on you. That's right. So thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and suggest some new topics so we can go over them. Yeah. So um, I'll be fun on Twitch on Sherlock and Watch Streams. And if you want Bye. Peace. God! Oh my- What?